What's up besties? Good morning! I'm filming this the day before it goes up and I really hope it goes up tomorrow. For the life of me, I cannot find my SD card that has footage of a vlog that I'm supposed to edit for tomorrow. So I thought, you know what, let me just pick up the camera and vlog. I'm actually thinking I should film a get ready with me. I'm actually going into the office. So maybe, just maybe, I should put on makeup. I don't know. I think I should. It's gonna be the easiest thing to film and then edit later than to try to do a vlog because I don't think I'm gonna get enough footage to make a 20 minutes plus vlog today. There really isn't much happening. I'm just basically gonna be working because I'm going to the office and I don't vlog at the office. So maybe let's do a get ready with me. But first, let's go take a shower. So I just took a shower. I struggled a little bit deciding where to put the camera because usually I put like my makeup stuff over here and I'm looking this way, but I mean, it's not gonna work that grand if I have to put you guys, oh, maybe it will. You just will see the background of the shower. <laughs> It's just not gonna be cute. So it's fine. I usually turn this way anyway because the natural light comes this way. So I'll just use this mirror to do most of what I need to do. Let me just get what I need. First things first, you know I have to say this disclaimer. I got to say the disclaimer. Guys, I'm no makeup artist. I really am not. I just wing it and uh, I try to do my best with what I have. Basically, I don't even think most of the time I'm using the right brushes. But with that being said, I do want to also say that I did take one, probably an hour and a half makeup class not so long ago. And I think that's when my makeup started kind of sort of changing a little bit. Just because I started doing things differently than I did before. And I will tell you as I go along. I think that class kind of sort of helped me up my game a little bit. Even though I have no idea what that means. First up, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I usually need to concentrate super hard when I do eyebrows. Because those are really tricky. Especially when it comes to applying concealer. I will stop and say something if I... I have to. Let's do the brows and once that's done, we'll chat. <laughs> I did a lot of one of the things the girl or the lady that was teaching me the makeup thingy when I went for that quick makeup pause, she used the to go or something styling gel on the brows. She actually made me put a little bit on this little brush. This is the brush I'm using by the way. She made me put a little bit on there and then brush my brows that way so that they kind of sort of stay in place. It worked, it was really great, but I don't have that and I really don't want to buy that, so, ow. Ooh. I'm not sure what just happened inside my body. So I just normally just brush them and then I use the eyebrow pencil. The brow pencil I use is this one, number four, Black Brown by Roman London. It's written on it, a brow this way. Anywho, let's do this. The best thing I did and I want you to know Was letting you in from that moment I knew that you were all Doesn't that look crazy? Let me zoom you guys in a little That looks crazy, but I'm gonna zoom you guys in like that I just realized the view was so far away Cause here in your arms I can finally let go The rest of the world is outside when See, the thing with brows is that they look weird until you do the concealer. They always look so questionable. They will almost always look very questionable. I need to join my meeting here quickly. I will be with you as long as you still want. I'm gonna use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. All the things we've been.
look better, all right? So that's basically my brows. I know it looks really crazy, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, blend it in and put on um, eyeshadows and stuff, but eyebrows take forever. <laughs> that looks so weird. I spent 20 minutes doing my brows. 20 minutes. The rest of everything else takes fairly quickly. I'm gonna do my eyeshadows, my whole face. One quick powerful tip I got from the makeup artist when I did that lesson is that more is more when it comes to makeup. Like I always used to think less is more. Like I would use a little bit of concealer just under my brows thinking I just need to clean it up and the rest I'll just figure it out with eyeshadow. Using concealer to cover your whole eyelid actually works out better than it does when you use an eyeshadow primer so that the eyeshadow doesn't crease and it's easier to apply eyeshadows when you use concealer you'll see when I do the makeup so more is more and the more you use concealer the less patchy it looks because if you use a little bit of concealer it just looks very ashy when you take pictures it doesn't look good so more is more <laughs> anyway let's carry on I'm gonna use this little brush to just blend out the concealer on my eyelids before I put on the eyeshadow and this is to make sure there are no because the eyelids creases you know it does let me try bringing this closer so you guys can get an idea those little lines and it's probably just smoothing everything out but the little lines you want to blend them out so that everything looks smooth when you put on your eyeshadows basically I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle Of the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff and trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm on I got it, I got it Go, go, go Running to better times Go, go, go From my emotions out Go, go, go Running to better times To better times To better times To better times I just did my eyeshadows. I'm happy with that. I'm not gonna make too big a deal. I'm not going anywhere literally. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation. I used to do, like I used to go and put on eyelashes and stuff, but I realized that my um, concealer, sometimes when I dab here, it goes on my lashes and it doesn't look cute. So I'm gonna do my foundation first, all of that stuff, and then we put lashes last. I recently bought this Yardley um, foundation, color stays and the color cappuccino, and it's actually pretty good. It's 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 pretty good. Again, more is more. It just helps it blend out so easily. It really does. And I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder right now. Let me just zoom that in. I was surprised by how well this shade fits my skin tone it's shocking look to the left look to the right nothing stop me in the night like i'm leaving i use this little brush to go ahead and basically blend the foundation or dab the foundation into my face i'm so amateur at this i don't even know what what these things are called <laughs> but we basically do that <laughs> one of the things that the makeup lady said is that I shouldn't worry too much about putting foundation here because I'm gonna use concealer down here to just brighten up my under eyes because we always got Gucci bags under our eyes. We know the struggle of less sleep. <laughs> so I normally just, I don't make a big deal out of it, but I do put just a little bit. Oh man, this foundation is gold. It just fits my skin tone so well. 
My face is all red because I'm still coming down from my workout high. <laughs> so my cheeks are all red. It's so funny. Get in my way now, don't be sad. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be sad. Cause I got the system, my favorite things. You could be the power. And then I'm going to use this, again, Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I actually took this from my mom. <laughs> I usually use my Wet n Wild, fun, um, not foundation, concealer. But I'm, I'm just going in with this one just because it's a little bit, it's a shade lighter than my regular one. And I think it pops more. The one mistake I used to do with my concealer is that I, I took one that was super bright. And this one is literally one shade, maybe two shades. Actually, I think it's just one shade lighter than my foundation. Or actually, I think it's two shades. <laughs> maybe two shades lighter than my foundation. So it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, but it still is able to brighten me up under my eyes. So it covers those Gucci bags really nicely. Get in my groove now, don't be sad. And then, <laughs> I look so weird. I look. I'm all for pointy noses that makeup artists do and all of that fun stuff, but I, I'm not always comfortable with it. So I do do the concealer line when I do my makeup, but then I blend it out with my foundation brush. So we're gonna do that too today. Okay, I think we're ready to blend away. You know what, one thing I wanted, today I'm trying something different. So if it doesn't work out, don't blame me. I've never done this before. This part here is new, <laughs> but I saw something on YouTube, obviously, and I want to try it out. My blanket is falling out. And then I use this brush, the same brush I used to blend out the concealer from on my eyelids. I'm using that to blend out under my eyes. Just because it's nice and pointed out, you know, it doesn't like dig into my eyes, which is really nice. I normally go back with this little foundation brush or the brush that I use to dab out my foundation or to put foundation all over my face. I have no idea what I'm saying. But I normally use that to just sort of blend the foundation with the concealer. So right on the edges basically so that nothing is like sticking out like sore thumb because this brush obviously still has a lot of foundation in it so it's easier to just use the brush without having to use or to get more foundation Ooh, I look like a crazy person but okay Things are looking up. Things are looking up. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and take my powder to set the concealer. Cause remember the concealer is just currently sitting on basically my skin. I just need to set it so that it doesn't like wash off or come off when I rub my eye or for whatever reason. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> ah, all I know is it just, it works, okay? It works. I normally use a brush for this. I don't think it's a powder brush, but it's it's sort of angled. See, it's angled that way, so it can go right under here much better. And you guys, I apologize in advance because I keep looking myself in the viewfinder, which is next to the camera lens, so it's gonna look very awkward when you're watching the vlog and I'm not even looking at you guys. Please bear with me. I don't know how these things are done, okay? I don't know how makeup artists do this. I'm no makeup artist. You already know that. But I thought it would be fun, you know? So anyway, we go in. Not too much, because we don't want to look ashy. We are not baking yet. I have no idea what baking is, so we don't do that here. Oh, baby, I love your madness. It's so... I'm sure you can tell the difference. This here is not as shiny as everywhere else on my face. It's because of the powder. <laughs> Anywho, I'm gonna close that up. By the way, I realized I didn't do this. I'm using this. This is the Revlon Candid Photo Ready Powder. 
It is in color number two. It's basically just loose powder. They say it's anti-pollution setting powder. And then I'm gonna go in with this one, the Maybelline Maybelline Fit Me found, not foundation powder. I wish I had this in a shade darker, like maybe 352 or maybe 355, but I have it in 350. So I use this to just basically set the rest of my face. And I use a powder brush. And how do I know it's a powder brush? Well, maybe because it's written on the brush. Powder brush. Wait, I think it should be that way. It is written powder brush, so it is a powder brush. The one thing I probably am calling right in this whole entire situation. Ooh, the loose powder gets everywhere. It's so annoying. Um, is endless. I know. Just do what you want with me. See, that's the thing because I, I don't necessarily know what it is I'm doing. I usually feel so conscious, so self conscious about things that stick out. I'm like, is it supposed to stick out like that? I don't know. Anyway, let's put on the face powder. But I just love to play and you fun and my games. Always hungry for more. that. Then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put on an eyeliner because I need to put now my lashes. I normally use and it's almost finished by um, Essence. It's this waterproof eyeliner. Oh, I've had this for months now. Months, 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 months. And it looks like this. It's that tip. Honestly, the, I, I don't try to have the eyeliner be perfect. I think my main goal with eyeliner is so that the lash can stick beautifully where I need it to. <laughs> I realize when you try to put the lash on a um, eyeshadow, it doesn't sit as well. So that's that. Um, I think the brand is called Kiss. I don't know, but that's a lash glue that I'm gonna use now. Hold on. My mom is sending me something here because she's going to San City tomorrow. Now she's buying yet another dress. This this grandmother is living the be her best life. Look at this dress. That's the dress, isn't it pretty? It's beautiful. And it looks so good on her. Wow. I asked her how much the dress is. She's laughing. Probably because it's hella expensive. <laughs> oh my god, a thousand. Are you serious? No. What's oh, okay? Leave it. I'm not saying she's gonna pay. I literally just asked her to just leave it. No. A thousand? I'll pay a thousand easily so for a jacket, not a dress. I'm just removing <laughs> the excess glue. Look at that. It's nasty. The excess glue from my lashes so that it's just a strip. A flesh like that. <laughs> I feel like when you leave the glue to build up, the lash strip looks so thick. It's not particularly cute. I am gonna add on glue anyway. These lashes are not particularly my favorite because they are not as dramatic as I need them to be, but they work with my glasses. You know, people who wear glasses and put on makeup, please help a bestie out. Like how do you how do you navigate lashes? behind your glasses because <laughs> when I put on my favorite ones the super dramatic long ones they just get stuck and then I have to put my glasses literally on my non-existent nose which then feels very uncomfortable because um, the glasses are pinching my nose I can barely breathe I don't know if you guys noticed but on oh that's too much glue in the previous vlog when we went on that date night and we're cooking with instant pot um, my glasses were literally sitting here because I had those long lashes and every time I push my glasses up and I blink 
my lashes would get stuck and my eyes have open it was just a mess so i went and found the shorter ones that look kind of dramatic but they're not that dramatic but they're not very exciting but please let me know hook me up how do you how do you navigate fake lashes wearing glasses she's now trying to convince me that the dress is so beautiful and worth a thousand maybe i should zoom you guys in somebody asked me many many moons ago how do i put lashes on let's see if this will work but basically you have a mirror you put it right under your chin and you look down like you make your eyes look down not your face that way your eyes have closed it's easier that way nothing can break me Basically, that's that and then you just reposition if you feel like it's not sitting well but I'm pretty happy with how this is sitting so I'm just basically pushing it into my eyes so I know it's sticking because the worst thing is when it was half stuck and you removed it and now you have half of the lash stuck to you and the other half not I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes that's that. I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm you see they're not very long they're not very dramatic but I mean it is a world apart from my original um, normal lashes which are non-existent at this point because the kids took all of my lashes and some more um, so this does make a difference it looks cute it just isn't as badass as I need it to be <laughs> anyway let's put on the other one I normally oh yeah I need to say this I normally use a clear dry adhesive like lash glue but then it ran out and I ended up having to buy this black one which works also because the eyeliner would be black I like using a black eyeliner unless if you don't um, but the clear one is amazing because when you do make a mistake and you put the lash where you don't want it to go when you take it out and reposition you don't leave that bl black glue left it, it clears dry it dries clear um, so this one is very annoying because right now you can't see because I just removed a little bit of it but there was a little bit of glue down here it's so annoying anywho let's put on the next lash remember hold the mirror under your chin look down with your eyes not your chin your eyes if you have cheeks like me because I got cheeks okay you just do this just to move them out of the way <laughs> just to move your cheeks out the way that's hilarious but you can't do a drift right because otherwise we could do this you don't see all you see is your cheek and you don't see your eye but yeah i'm done basically that's it my lashes in there not very long they look actually quite almost natural but they're not <laughs> they really are not Okay, so now I'm gonna finish the under eyes, put mascara on the under eye, and then we'll do a little bit of contouring here and there, and then we're basically done. <laughs> Listen to me talking about contouring as if. Is this the right brush for the job? I don't know. Does it do the job? Yes. Yes, it does. That's the brush I'm talking about, by the way. <laughs> I usually use an eyeliner. That's probably an eyebrow pencil, but it is what it is. But I normally just use this to put on my waterline. I'm just gonna unzoom you guys so you can see because I feel like you're a little too close. You know how they say your eyebrows shouldn't look the same like they never it's hard to get them to look the same because they're not twins they're just sisters there's also that one eye that's always more watery than the other one for me it's my left eye mm. it can water for days anyway again i'm gonna use this essence mascara i've had this mascara for forever basically that <laughs> one more thing I want to do I'm 
gonna go ahead and do the little bit of contouring around my face and nose and basically we'll be done here. I use this eyeshadow brush for that because I don't have the right <laughs> brushes for this, I don't know. You set my world on fire My SD card apparently got full, so I had to change that now quickly, but where was I? I'm still doing this stuff here. Honestly, I don't even want it to show that much. That's the point, you know? For me, the point is to just... You see? It doesn't show as much. This right here. But it's there. It's there. It's cute. It looks cute in pictures, but I don't want it to stand out because I don't have a pointy nose. So I'm okay with my nose. I love my nose. I normally go and blend it out again with the foundation brush just to make sure it's not sticking out like a sore thumb. That's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and use my angled contour brush. How do I know it's angled contour? Well, because it's written on the brush. So I'm gonna use that. And then I have got this Sun Kissed Giant Bronzer. It is in the shade much darker than me. So I use this as a, what do you call this now? The contouring thing. You tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. And then I usually then do under here just for that finished. <laughs> Let me not lie. Finished what? I don't know. I saw somebody doing this on YouTube. Too much of a good thing is just this bad. I normally go back with my foundation brush and just dab, dab, dab so that nothing is sticking out like sore thumbs. The foundation brush is literally your best friend, basically. I use my blush brush. I know it's blush because it's written blush on it. It's by Essence. And just a few days ago, I received this blush by Revlon. We got this in a goodie bag from um, the Instant Pot event. So I've been experimenting with it. I know I don't use too much of it because honestly, I don't even know, you know what I'm doing. So. We're gonna put that on today. Not too much. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not used to using a blush. One last thing and we're done here. And that's highlighter. I use this one by Essence and I normally go for this one here. I feel like this is one, this is more, you know, um, catered for ice black people. And I normally apply my um, highlighter with a blush brush. I know it's a blush brush again because it's written blush, so I normally use that. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. I pinch it up like that and I do a little bit here. Not too much, just a little. Then I dust up here on my nose. Not too much. I want to do this so that you guys can see. Oh, that's too dark. Right. I'm just reducing the brightness on the camera so that you guys can see a true reflection of the highlighter, if that makes sense. And then I add here on my forehead so that it can look nice and popping. You see, it's already popping. Not too much though, not too much. When it comes to highlighter, less is less. <laughs> or less is more so not too much not a bit under my chin before I sleep hear the cricket see the moon. there we go and I use this one here major glow the one in the middle uh, for my sideways here and that way I use summer glow I haven't actually used candlelit glow now I just put a little bit some there on my tear duct and there's some on my cheek right there it looks good in pictures and in real life but it's not like shouting at you a little bit there on my forehead here 
and then of course there because today is a good day i'm gonna put lipstick on i hardly ever put lipstick on but again i got this lipstick in the goodie bag Ooh, i just dropped something in the goodie bag that we got the revlon goodie bag we got from the event with instant pot and i absolutely love it it's kiss proof i talked about it it's everything so i'm gonna put it on you and i can wear them in the and it's beautifully matte. Oh my gosh, so creamy. Mm. Love it. I'm using this one by Essence. It's this is one number four and it's a matte it was from their matte collection i'm just putting it in the inside of my lips the revlon one doesn't actually quite sit there very well obviously this one transfers so most likely we'll be eating this one first but i like it because it's a shade lighter too so it kind of brings that little bit of nice ombre situation going on that i have no idea what i'm talking about in the one very last step and we are done here and that is a setting spray i use this one by yardley three one makeup setting spray it's beautiful it smells amazing it's sulfate paraben and alcohol free all the good stuff it primes it sets and it refreshes so i'm gonna set my makeup and then we are done before my battery dies it's flashing too they say relax your face so that you don't want anything creasing right cold Oh, it smells so good. Before I open my eyes, I just like to do this so that it can get dry because my eyeshadows, I don't want them creasing during the day. I don't know if more is more when it comes to setting spray or less is more or less is less. I don't know. So I normally just do a few pumps because I don't want my makeup to be like dripping off my face. My battery died before I could make a conclusion to this video. Actually, I don't even know if I want to make it a conclusion, but I'm done with my makeup. <laughs> I even got dressed and I put on a head tie because I don't really want to do much with my hair. So I'm just going to leave it as is. But I'm wearing this sweater because the office tends to be very hot and I'm not hot, cold. And I'm considering going into the office real quickly. And my high-waisted jeans that have pocket, really cool. I haven't got shoes yet, so I don't know about that. I also need to actually go and make myself some lunch because i am hungry i want to eat before i go but also i'm kind of stalling so that kb can get back home before i go like i don't really want to get to the office only to drive back to come fetch her and bring her home so yeah that's what i, I even put earrings on oh yes i did i changed my earrings to put these hoops these hoop earrings and i'm leaving this head wrap thing looking as dramatic as it is right now because it is kind of cute that way i tried to put it together but it kind of sort of made my head look very weird so i'm leaving it like that and basically good to go i decided to have my salmon with ooh, steamed or boiled carrots and broccoli i need to flip that over it's almost done by the way quick tip when it comes to steaming vegetables you know how you go to a restaurant and their vegetables are nice and crunchy but still cooked and delicious and you try to make it at home and it's all soggy and sad and and not good and you don't want to eat that i got you so what you do is with broccoli you boil the water i normally add a little bit of salt when i'm boiling the water and then when the water is boiling you add the broccoli literally for like a minute maybe a minute and a half and then you take it out you take it out of there and you season it with salt and you will have the greenest most like the color is incredible and the taste is amazing and it's nice and crunchy and it's like you just want to eat it you just want to i literally cannot get myself to eat soggy broccoli anymore or cauliflower i don't know about you guys but i used to put it in the pot put the cold water and let the water boil with the veggie inside which in turn made it overcooked and soggy and not so good so when you boil the water first and you put the veggies the hot water co cooks the veggie without making it soggy and you just get it out of there amazing same thing with carrots boil the water put it in let it be in there for about two minutes because carrots is hotter take it out they're crunchy cooked delicious 
You just want to keep eating that. Try it, let me know. Look how beautifully green that is. Green, green, green and orange. It's crunchy, it's delicious, it's nutritious. Only just boiled or steamed. Yummy. Leaving the salmon in the marinade was incredible. It has soaked up that soy sauce and honey. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm, it is so good. Hey, girl. Oh, oh, bulolo. Okay, sweetheart, I'm gonna have to take these away, okay? Look, look, you made a mess. You're not supposed to write here. This? You don't write here. This one. Yeah, that's a paper. You're right there, okay? I am I am not happy. Mommy's not happy. Breakfast for dinner. What do you think? Is it soft? Soft? Like it? Mama, nice and soft, like a blanket. Oh yeah? Like a blanket. So, nice and soft like a blanket? Wow. Ooh, thumbs up for Manolo. Yeah. Dizzy is taking the kids to bed, right? <laughs> I hear them singing Father Abraham, literally at this hour. Anyway, I just really want to quickly end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I tried to say something earlier, but I don't remember what I was saying before my ba my battery died. So I just rushed off to work. Was at the office for a little bit, came back and basically been sitting here. We took the kids to the park for a little bit and came back home. But let me know what you think about my makeup. Um, again, I'm no makeup artist. I've said this before. I just wing it. It works for now. And the towel is not straight. <laughs> Um, it works for now and as and when it gets better, I will maybe update you guys. This TV is so loud It's so loud. I'm watching come down with me But the kids were singing and everybody was singing and you know increase the volume because everybody's competing for to be heard It's crazy Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what I should do different because I'm sure they're besties here watching or who probably was watching this vlog and thinking what is she doing? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. I don't even know how long this is going to be. I hope it's going to be long enough. I hope if it's not, I'll find some random footage somewhere that I never used. We'll see. But I'm going to end the vlog. I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you besties in our next video. Bye, besties. So how was it? Oh. Oh. Did you do sit down and kept going? One of my biggest pet peeves with makeup is when it's nighttime and I need to take my makeup off because you know you gotta get ready for the night and I get into the bathroom and my makeup looks so damn good that I don't even know how to let it go that's me right now I don't want to take it off I don't want to I'm not ready but I have to because <laughs> it's nighttime mm. honestly though why must this makeup look so good? Why is it doing this to me? Why? See you guys in the next vlog. Tonight we're running on the right track.